Hey guys, Chris and I, we're at the Lions RV factory and we want to give you the sneak peek of the 395DS. What does DS stand for, Chris? Damn sexy. <laughs> or, du <laughs> or dual suite. So this is a prototype, just to let you know. It's not 100% finished, but Alliance is letting us give you guys the sneak peek. They just announced this floor plan last Friday and Martha called in a favor and was like, pretty, pretty, please. Can we come look at it? Thank you, Coley. <laughs> so we're over here at the factory and we're going to take a tour stick around this thing is amazing we are so stinking excited to show you this you guys so yeah stick around for sure this is going to be a full tour of the brand new 395 ds which is a prototype floor plan that alliance just announced on friday so we are the first to get access to it just because we happen to be in elkhart the front cap is full paint fiberglass the Graphics are awesome. They're very classic styling for the Paradigm line, but yet they still have some modern touches and some upgrades. Very good attention to detail, high luxury trailer. This thing is going to be a huge seller for those that want a traditional office or don't want to have a family that are going into a toy hauler, but you need extra bedrooms. When you see the inside of this, you'll understand where we're coming from. So this prototype 395 DS has 22 windows. You know what I got to say about that? Get some good glass cleaner because <laughs> you want to let all that natural light in. Martha just showing off how she can stand under here. Not me, I got to squat. So this is your front bay. It's got your hydraulic system. Your battery will be in here. If you order a generator, this is where it would be housed. Lots and lots of room up front. One of the cool features that Alliance does on all their trailers is a Kurt Rotoflex pin box, which is nice. It's a good upgrade. It has the Lippert level up system with a door, so it keeps it out of the weather. You've got a 30 pound propane tank on each side. The pass through storage is huge. Awesome system. It's got a Nautilus system, which I really like. Same one we have in our paradigm. Has access to the spaghetti. <laughs> all the wiring so if you have anything that does happen you can get in here one of the cool things that Alliance does is they put on off switches on all their water lines so no matter where you're at if you have a leak you can turn it off on the wall right here this is a Renogy 40 amp MPPT which is a solar controller and it goes through quite a bit and then of course the door to the other side we'll look at it from that side this is the outside of your furnace and your water heater. The water heater will likely be the Suburban that we have, which we are extremely happy with. All right, this is a new feature we have not seen on any of the Lions RVs, period. This little hatch, it's a trash chute. We're gonna show you from the inside when we get in there, but yeah, neat little place to have a trash chute. Directly underneath you have your hookups, that's for your black tank and your gray tank. One of the unique things about this one is you've actually got two separate systems. In the rear, they have a black and gray tank. Is there valves down there to pull them? Yeah, there's valves down here to pull, black, gray, and its own little poop chute. The three slides on the off door side, this one is a Schwintec slide, this one is a hydraulic slide, and the back slide is a Schwintec slide. All Alliance coaches now come with LED lights, which is really nice. This uh, trailer hitch is a standard two inch. It's rated for 3,000 pounds or 300 pounds tongue weight, and it has a four flat, so it's wired to tow. If you live in an area that makes it legal, uh-oh, she's pointing it up. Am I going up? Going up. Going well, up. It is wired for a backup camera. Which is awesome because I loved having that. All right, we're up on the roof now, and this is a cool setup. Obviously, that's the skylight for the rear bathroom. And as you come along, this unit does have three air conditioners, and there is a big old 320-watt Renogy panel, second air conditioner, two max air vents, the Wineguard Air 360 Plus, the third air conditioner, 
and in the front bathroom skylight. So you have skylights in the front and rear of this coach and it's already pre-set up for solar. And as much real estate as you have up here, you could put a whole lot of solar panels to take this sucker off grid. This trailer right now looks like it's sitting on two 7,000 pound axles. It's got the Westlake Super G tires. It has the CRE 3000 suspension from Moride, has the heavy duty shackles with the greasable wet bolts. And I believe it's sitting on 8,000 8, pound springs. We also heard a rumor, but I can't confirm that there will be an 8,000 pound axle rating option. So if you need to increase payload, you could probably order it that way, but that's rumor. Hope it's true, because that makes a big difference on these coaches. On the door side, you have a hydraulic slide. This one has the fridge, pantry, and dinette. They added the key alike locks on these slam latches. That's kind of neat, I like that. This is the other side of the bay on the door side. All right, and here you've got your wine guard on off switch. So for your cellular or your Wi-Fi. And then of course you've got your cable and hookups if you wanted to add like a dish TV, a dish network or a direct TV. You have motion sensing LED lights on that side. And as Martha said, it's a slam latch. Slam. And it latched. Oh! <laughs> Novel concept. The other 30 pound tank on this side for propane. Don't forget there's a couple speakers outside for that outdoor entertainment. Just a heads up, this unit is not 100% finished. It is the prototype, so there may be changes later on. We don't know, and I'm sure there may be, so, but we wanna give you the sneak peek. Let's check the inside out. They have the Lippert solid step stairs. The Lindahan railing. All right, so when we go inside, keep in mind this is a prototype. This is not finished. It has the normal electrical system that Alliance uses, which is a toggle switch based system I really like. It's got an Insignia residential microwave, has the Insignia residential style stove with the four burner. It's got solid surface countertops, farm sink, and I love the new wood grain. So that trash chute I talked about on the outside of the coach, this is how you access it. Voila. Makes taking out the trash that much easier. <laughs> All right, I'm loving these cabinets, you guys. Solid wood and it's a magnet catch, soft closing. So this is a residential style 12 volt fridge. We believe it's 12 volt. What do you think, Chris? Looks pretty similar to what was in the Valor. So most likely these are gonna be a 12 volt system, which would make sense why they would have it inverted and have the uh, solar on the roof. But it does look similar to the one on the 382RK that we just did a video on. Next to the Norcole fridge, they have a pantry and it's just like the ones they have in the Valor. So they light up. It's very spacious in there too. Yeah, this thing's huge. Let me show you. So with my arm straight, I can barely reach the back wall and my shoulder and armpit are up against it. These things are deep. I'll bet you that is every bit of two and a half, maybe three feet deep. This is a really nice setup. That pantry's huge. They have a beautiful dinette in its own little cubby. It seats four and you can look out the windows. And I think these are the atrium windows. Don't know for sure. Stickers are not there, but you know, prototype life. <laughs> okay, so we have theater seating. These chairs do recline. And to the right is a sleeper sofa. Above the sleeper sofa, there's cabinets up above for storage. Let's check it out. Let them go. Oop. Oh, soft closing, hey. All right, entertainment center. Chris, this is your realm. We've got a Jensen speaker system. So it's got multiple zones, speakers on the outside, speakers on the inside, speakers right up the front. You've got a 50 inch panoramic fireplace. You've got what looks like a 50 inch uh, Insignia smart TV. You've got two massive cabinets up here. You know what this part is? This is where you hide the snackies from Martha because she can't see up there. <laughs> and they're soft closing. All right, Chris, let's see what's upstairs. This is a sexy loft. And the reason I call it sexy is because you can actually get a grown human up here. This thing is big. And being that it's not in either one of the bedrooms, it's somewhere you can put other kids for sleepovers, for storage, could be Martha's attic. 
It also has four windows up here for ventilation. It's ducted with two AC vents. This is gonna be a comfortable place for kids to sleep or for you to store your stuff and keep it temperature controlled. Okay, what's behind this door? This oh, 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 no, leave that for last. You go up oh, front. You're right, because this is a dual suite. We don't want to give what's back here out until the end of the video. All right, we're going to the master bedroom in the front. Okay, we're going to go up into the master suite. It's in the front door to the right. You go up three stairs, and then you walk right into the bedroom. You have missing a Martha. So you have a full finished closet in the front master bedroom. It is prepped for a washer and dryer, plenty of shelving, and a nice rack to hang your clothes on. And a shoe cubby, I like that. You have one little bench down here with storage. Open it up, let's see what's in there. All right. It, oh, cool, it is usable storage. Yeah, usable storage, and it's got a nice little hefty lid with a cushion. So would you say that's a timeout chair? It is a timeout chair or a place to take time to tie your shoe. Mom jokes. <laughs> With Airby Alliance RV Coach, there is hidden storage. No one knows about this, you guys, so it is hidden. It's a secret, y'all. It's a secret. <laughs> Six dresser drawers, storage underneath the bed. It's a king-size bed, I believe. It is. On the ends of each side of the bed, you have USB and 110 plugs. And with these, the way they're inverted, most of the time you're going to have access to that. I say most of the time because we don't know 100% how this is going to play out. They've got a really nice headboard, two lights up above. And on the other side, same thing. Somewhere to put your phone, 12 volt plugs and 110 plugs. Yeah, and this is also great for putting your coffee on first thing in the morning. So it does have a small TV in here. I believe these are 32 inch TVs. One of the neat features that I found is that there's three ducts in the air conditioning in the bedroom, which is cool because that means that you won't get hot. Yeah. Ah, dad jokes. Ah. Then we're gonna go from there. You've got a barn door and a regular door. I like the whole Jack and Jill feel. So you have a sliding door where there's a Martha. Hey guys. <laughs> and a barn door in the bedroom. So you can access the bathroom from both locations. Martha, walk us through the bathroom. All right, normally this is Chris's job. So I'm gonna wing it. They have, a, they have a really cool linen closet in here. So it's actually a pretty nice size. I like that. Medicine cabinet. Yep. Yeah, nice shelves. Epoxy pour sink and storage down below. Is it a soft closed toity? It is soft closed. Soft closed toilets are life, you guys. Now this shower is spectacular. I love the surround. This is very similar to the one we have in our paradigm. It's got the three glass doors that slide forward. You've got a arm that's on an extension so you can lift it. So for short people, you can go down. Martha. And for tall people like Chris, you can go up and it has a beautiful teak seat that we love in ours. Question of the day, Chris. Oh yeah. And let's stand up. Chris is 6'2" and he would have plenty of room to shower. The next question everyone wants to know if they've watched our videos, could you brush your teeth in here? Because this bathroom and bedroom is set up like the Valor. Yes, 100% because they took it out of the corner and put it in the front. How's the toilet seat positioning? Well, it's a, it is, let's see. It's a porcelain foot flush, no problems. I got plenty of room. I like the layout of this bathroom in here. It's very usable and great design. Yeah, I can't say anything bad about it. It is fantastic. It has the max air fan. So when you're doing your paperwork, you can uh, exhaust whatever excess paperwork you need to. Yep. As with all Alliance uh, paradigms, it has the accent lighting. So it's got LEDs absolutely everywhere in this thing. Wait, not just the paradigms. They have accent lighting in the Valors and the Avenues. Ooh, she told me. Yeah, I did. Oh, did we Mark? talk about the max air fan in the kitchen? Have another max air fan in the kitchen, which is great. So when Martha burns the food. I oh! don't burn the food. That's Christopher. Check burns. out our reels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> another Coleman Mock air conditioner. And a third Coleman Mock air conditioner. This one is vented. As I mentioned, you have venting up above in the attic. The attic is very, very spacious or loft, whatever you want to call it. 
All right, Martha, you have permission. Let's go in the back. I just want to know, are you guys excited for this dual suite? I'm really excited. Chris and I, when we found out about this floor plan, we had to come here. We want to show you. Welcome to the dual suite. This is a queen size bed in here. It has plugs on each side, the 110 and USB, beautiful windows. This is a great second master. You got a wardrobe closet on each side, a dresser with hidden storage. And you got an insignia 32 inch TV up above. You've got a clothes bar and you got plenty of storage. So it looks like you can hang clothes and put stuff underneath. This is a good setup. Plenty of drawers, which is a perfect scenario. Say you have a couple kids, one lives up here, one sleeps up there, but they still have their side of where to put clothes. All right, Chris loves to show off the bathrooms. It's where all the paperwork's done. It's where the magic happens, folks. Hey. It's got a barn door. And if we haven't said it already, I really love the wood. The wood's very nice. I like the neutral tone. I like the lighting. Uh, it's a lot lighter. It's ducted in here. So you've got ducting here and here, which is cool. So that AC outside not only has ducts above, it has ducts below. <laughs> dad jokes. Come on, dad jokes. So the bathroom has a epoxy pour countertop and a ton of countertop space. It has a really cool contrasting back wall with like a wallpaper effect. It's got two drawers. It's got a cabinet, which would have a door on it eventually, I assume. Two massive shelves a porcelain foot flush toilet with a soft closing lid. It has a very nice medicine cabinet and it has a full shower when they install it. The headroom in here is actually bigger than what it is in the master up front. The other thing that I like in here is they have two huge windows in here along with two more ducts. So this whole air conditioning system back here is gonna be running off of the main AC coming out of the back living room. So you have two in here, two in the uh, bedroom, and two up in the loft. Work out really, really well. And then, of course, the ability to open the windows. It has a max air fan for taking a shower or ventilating the system in here so that you don't get moisture buildup. It has a skylight directly above the shower, and the shower is ridiculous tall. I can't even touch the roof in here. So you've got more room than you could ever need. Cool thing is it has an MCD shade on the back wall and behind the toilet. So if you want some privacy, you've got that option. Oh, whoa. How is that back wall? I love the back wall. It is really cool. It's got some um, some kind of like contact paper or wallpaper, and it's got a very uh, subtle, almost, I don't even know how to explain it. It's got a subtle pattern that I just really like. So we saw the same pattern on the 382 arcade prototype RV that we just threw a video out on not too long ago. Look up here, there'll be a link in it. I've got plenty of room. So I like the armrest. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me who you're working for. <laughs> oh God, who does number two work for? One thing we forgot to bring up is where the ladder is, there's an actual bookcase. Oh my gosh, a bookcase. What do you guys think? Really sweet, right? Dual sweet even. <laughs> Or, or damn sexy as someone called it yep no if chris and i were a lot younger we were full timing and our daughter was younger this would be the rig to go oh absolutely mm -hmm. this is a great alternative for those that don't want to have the uh industrial look of a toy hauler but yeah. need two bedrooms and if you have multiple kids this is the solution guys this is incredible thank you for watching our video yeah, let us know what you guys think about this dual suite down below. This is the first of its type for the fifth wheel for Alliance RV. I think they nailed it. Now, keep in mind, this is a prototype, so they are putting the finishing touches. We happened to be near the factory and reached out, and they said, yeah, come on over, come record it. So Couldn't pass the opportunity up. And if you've enjoyed this video and you like this type of content, along with you know all things RV life, subscribe to our channel and mean the world to us. Honestly, that's why we do this is for you. Yeah, we hope you enjoy this and thank you for watching and hope you're able to stay to the end and let us know what you think. Give us that like. Enjoy every moment. Safe travels, guys. See you guys next time.